You know when you uh, start off a project and first it's just like this little dream, you know, little thought, and then it starts blossoming, and then you start getting the materials that you need, and then things start happening. It's pretty good. So what we've done so far is first step on the Amish hot water heater. I had to install the stove pipe, which I got actually from a neighbor. Thank you, thank you very much if you're watching. And uh, it worked out really good. They had to replace some stove pipe. Lucky enough, it was the same size that I needed. So we were able to recycle, reuse uh, that stove pipe. Um, so we put it through the wall. There's a couple of different ways you guys can install your stove pipe. If you guys are starting off on your journey, if you wanna live this off grid life, um, you can go through the wall or you can go through the ceiling. Uh, the number one recommended way is to go through the ceiling. The straight, the straightest pipe is the best pipe, if that makes sense. You don't want to come off of your uh, wood cook stove or your hot water heater and have a bunch of turns and turns and straights and turns. You want to be able to come off of that and either go straight up or straight out with one turn and go up. The more turns you have in your stove pipe, the worse it is. You guys are gonna have smoke backed up into your place. You're always gonna be struggling with it, I promise. So just keep that in mind if you guys are thinking about living this lifestyle, if you're getting one of those shed houses, whatever it is you're gonna put this in, just think about how is it going to operate. Another benefit, I will add, uh, to putting it through the wall there is the clean out that little tea box thing that we put in there, that little junction. Um, and you just slide that tab, the, the cap comes out and you can ram your stovepipe cleaner rod right up in there and you never have to leave the ground. As we get older, that's the kind of stuff that you have to think about for sure. So this is pretty cool. Now you guys are gonna see more of this coming up. I just wanted to get the stovepipe put in. We had a couple of nice days. Um, we got the grandkids are here, so I'm really spending a lot of time with them. Not a lot of videos for you guys, but I want to keep you, um, you know, up to date on what's going on around here, especially when I'm doing these kind of projects, so I can show you guys what's going on because our main goal, the reason why we even post videos, is to help you guys live a more sustainable life, and we think that by us posting videos, it's helping you to do that, all right? So we're just trying to share what we're learning. And so then you guys can pass that on too because this is the kind of stuff that we're missing. The kind of stuff that our great grandparents and grandparents didn't hand down to us got skipped. Then we learned how to live in the city and we lost all this self-reliant, you know, sustainable mindset and we just became consumers and we let other people do it for us and now we've taken control, we've taken back our lives and we're fully engaged and it feels good. We've been out here for a decade. In case you're new to our channel, we live in a log cabin in the Midwest, my wife and I, that we built ourselves and we heat with wood. We have a wood cook stove. We live 100% off rainwater and we even use a composting toilet. So if you like that kind of stuff, stick around our channel and then also you're gonna see the rest of this being put together and operating. All right, so as you guys can see, there's the tank and then there's all the work that we just did getting the stove pipe put in. Now I'll still have to put a little frame around that maybe, put a little insulation in there, and then I'm gonna put tin around it. And then as, as you can see, I'm standing on our sink. We're gonna have a sink right here too. So we'll have hot water from this tank into our sink. And in the shower that you guys can barely see because it's full of insulation that I have to utilize around the shower. And uh, looks like a chair. <laughs> but we'll have a hot water shower right here for during the winter time. Now one of the problems that you guys are going to run into if you want to live off gravity fed water like my wife and I, we actually live 100% off rainwater here on our homestead and it's all gravity fed, no pumps, no power, no problem. But the one thing I never really thought about until we were fully engaged in our lifestyle was that you can, it's so hard to find appliances for gravity fed water. As a matter of fact, I don't think you can really find them. Um, we tried to buy some standard faucets and things from the store and then hollow them out. Um, that didn't work. I ended up actually crafting um, a spigot for our kitchen sink and I will end up crafting um, on and off valves and shower head and everything for this as well. If you guys have seen our outdoor shower video I had to do that there as well and it actually turned out really good um, it produces a nice flow of water for us and we enjoyed that all summer long so it'll be interesting to see how I actually hook up this hot water shower and come up with 
the on and off valves for the hot, for the cold, how they're gonna come together above us, how they're gonna cascade down on us. So stay tuned for those videos and I'll get my creative juices flowing. <laughs> but it's not gonna be nothing too fancy. Uh, sometimes really basic is good. Sometimes I think um, we overthink, you know, as people, as humans, some of the answers that we're looking for, or some of the problems that we're faced with. I think sometimes we overthink it and complicate it even more uh, than the problem itself. A lot of times people will ask me a question, maybe like, how do you charge your cell phone? And I think to myself, the answer is so obvious. How do you charge your cell phone when you're not at home next to your outlets? You plug it into your vehicle and we have a vehicle. So we plug our cell phones into our vehicle. But that answer is always asked of us, always. So sometimes those simple answers are right there for you to grab, all right? Well, hopefully you guys got a good little tip from this video. It was good seeing you guys again, and we'll see you guys on the next video.